family. Happy New Year's, everyone. It's your girl, Chance Alrell. Welcome and all my good people back to the channel. To start this new year off right, we are going to be taking a closer look and reviewing the Air Jordan 1 patent bread with this sneaker. This shoe was definitely not easy to get a hold of, so it was definitely a blessing for me to be able to secure a pair, but I'm just really excited to be here today doing this review with all of you. And with that being said, let's dive right into this video, guys. Let's do it. So here is my package. My babies did just arrive in the mail today safe and sound. Like I said, it definitely wasn't easy securing a pair of these sneakers, but fortunate enough, I did hit through Foot Locker ship to me option and yes here we are today but let's go ahead and get into the good stuff and take these bad boys on out the box all right everyone we do have our standard air on one box this box specifically though is going to have an extra layer of gloss around its exterior mimicking the actual design of the sneakers itself so I'm gonna go ahead and read off the tag for you all so it does say Air Jordan 1 retro hot OG and the colorway does read black slash varsity red and white this is a size eight and a half that is a personal pair for your girl and this sneaker did retail for $170 but yes let's go ahead and open these bad boys on up Woo. Dad, I didn't even took this sneaker out the box and these mugs already got that kickback. Sheesh, it's nothing like the fresh scent of a new pair of kicks. And let me tell you, these bad boys right here, these smell like they came straight out the factory, okay? But yes, let's go ahead and open these bad boys on up together. And here they are, everyone. The Air Jordan 1 patent breads and the building. Hey now! <laughs> But yes, everyone, here we have it. The Air Jordan 1 patent breads. Oh my gosh, these are so clean. Like, you talking about crispy. These bad boys are nice. But yes, everyone, let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about this shoe. So there's not like a crazy amount of details going on with this sneaker. It's actually going to be pretty much identical to that of the original bread one, in which it is the same model and the same colorway. But there are definitely some key differences between each sneaker, starting with the patent leather. So as you all can see, the whole upper portion of the sneaker is going to come with that real glossy patent leather on both the lateral and medial side of the shoe. We do have that real clean all white midsole wrapping around the entire sneaker. And taking a look at the bottom of the sneaker, we do have bright red outsoles. All right, with that Nike Air logo sitting there in the middle. On both the lateral and medial sides of the sneaker, we are gonna have our bright red profile swooshes standing out, sitting on top of that jet black patent leather. Looking real good, looking real good, okay? Oh, yes. All right, all right, this sneaker does come with all black laces, as you all can see. They did throw in a spare pair of red laces on the left sneaker for us in case we choose to do a lace swap. For me personally, I'm going to leave my sneakers with the black laces. I feel like it just looks nicer. It's a better combination. And, you know, the red laces will definitely make the sneaker pop out a lot more, but it's already... A very flashy sneaker so I feel like it's not necessary but I think it's just dope that they gave us the option to do a lace swap if we choose to do so underneath our laces we do have a black standard Air Jordan 1 nylon tongue with the black tag at the top of the tongue with that red Nike Air embroidered in the sneaker all right everyone so we do have an all black sock liner and taking a closer look we do have that family embroidered in the sneaker in that bright red on the middle side of the shoe. And I'm not exactly sure what family stands for, but I definitely think that, that is a cool detail to have with this sneaker. And what I like about it is that it's stitched in there. This way it's going to last a lot longer versus them just printing it in the shoe. So definitely a nice detail for sure. Definitely, definitely dope. And taking a closer look at the inside of the sneaker, we do have all black insoles with another Nike Air logo printed there at the bottom in that bright red. And lastly, everyone, taking a look at our right sneaker, it does come with a red 
Jumpman hang tag on the shoe. This is something that was not previously given to us with the original bread one. So just another minor difference between each shoe, but definitely something that you do notice. And even though I'm gonna take mine off, I think that's cool that they did just include that with the sneaker. Definitely adds to giving this sneaker a different feel than the original bread one but yes overall just a super nice sneaker like these is coming with it y'all cannot lie these are nice but yes everyone that was a closer look at the air drawer on one patent bread as far as how this sneaker fits i have actually not had a chance to try these on i just took them out the box but every other drawer on one that i own they literally all fit true to size and i've even heard people say that these fit true to size as well so i would not recommend sizing up or down with the sneaker overall if i had to rate this shoe i'm gonna go with the solid nine and a half out of ten and i'm giving it that rate because i feel like as nice as this shoe is and this shoe is definitely nice it's still not the bread ones i've always been a classic type of girl i feel like you know there's nothing like an og pair of sneakers and the bread one is literally one of the best sneakers ever made just out of respect for the bread one i had to go ahead and take a half point off this sneaker but honestly i really don't have anything bad to say about this shoe the couple critiques that i do have is one being that i do love the patent leather design that they added to the sneaker however i feel like the gloss on this shoe needs to be turned down maybe one or two notches like it's really nice but i think it's just maybe a little too much on it but it's nice so overall that's why i say it's a critique and not anything that i don't like because i do love this shoe overall and that's a very minor detail but that's one thing that i would say is that i feel like they could have definitely toned it down a little bit with the patent leather it's like really really flashy and glossy but it still does look really nice and another thing with the patent leather is that once the patent leather starts to crease on the sneaker it's definitely not going to be as pretty as it looks now so that's definitely something to be aware of when you wear your shoes just try to take care of these the best you can because again the patent leather on the sneaker will definitely start to crease but yes everyone with all that being said to pretty much sum it all up these right here these are definitely must cops and i'm super thankful to have a pair of these now in the collection it's definitely nothing short of a blessing for sure and i can't wait to throw these on put these bad boys to the pavement and when i do so i'm definitely gonna be dropping a how to style video with this sneaker for sure which yes everyone that is a wrap for today's video i just wanted to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to tune into the video and show your girl love you are definitely appreciated we have officially stepped into a new year and 2022 is gonna be such an amazing year for all of us i'm really looking forward to all the good things that's to come and i'm looking forward to sharing all the great experiences with each and every one of you i can't thank you all enough for the continual support you guys have shown me along this journey but i promise i promise you all that this is only the beginning the sky is literally the limit and there's nothing but great things yet to come but yes everyone i definitely definitely have more heat for the feet coming your way and soon all 22 so you might as well go ahead and ring those bell notifications this way youtube will notify you whenever your girl drops a new video but yes i'm definitely not here to take up too much more of your time again thank you for tuning in to the video i definitely have more heat for the feet coming your way and soon so be on the lookout for your girl y'all make sure you have a wonderfully blessed day be safe and take care out there guys it is your girl chantile rail and until the next video everyone we out